Hey guys, welcome back. It's the late Boy Scout with another Front Sight Prairie Fire update. An email went out recently, um, basically officially pointing out the fact that Front Sight is now officially owned by Prairie Fire. That whole transition as far as financial ownership is now complete. And they offered some FAQs as well of a couple little statements that I want to sort of go over with you guys, give you my impressions of the FAQs, my impressions of the answers, if I have any additional questions or answers I want to give to you, I'll try to do that as well. But basically just try to help you guys sort of wrap your heads around what Prairie Fire is now and what it, what do you actually have the opportunity to do for the next few months that you might want to take advantage of. So we're going to go over, go over all of that. I've got some documents here, some notes and things that I would desperately want to share with you. But first, it is Christmas time and I'm going to try to get you to buy something. So. You definitely have people that you love that you want to buy things for that you have not bought for yet. So one great idea is, of course, flashlights from Olight. Now, Olight has their December sale going on. December 15th, I believe it is, is when it starts. So that might be by the time I have this video posted. I'm not sure. But they've got some great deals going on there, as they usually do during their flash sales. And one of them that I want to share with you is this very handy, very practical... Perrin 2, Perrin, Perrin, I don't know how they say it. The Perrin 2 right angle flashlight. Why is this such a big deal? Well, we'll tell you about that in just a second, but another really cool thing that they're offering is the i3e EOS in this very cool green and snowflake kind of a look. You get this for free just for logging in and then checking out, you pay for shipping. If you buy nothing else, you can get this just paying for shipping awesome deal on that. You just have to have an account and all that stuff. But the Perrin 2 is a terrific little flashlight. Um, it's got good brightness levels, but more importantly, it's extremely handy. It's not just a right angle flashlight, but it's also a headlamp flashlight as well. It actually comes with this entire headlamp strap, which works really well. And it's really simple and really well engineered. And you just drop that flashlight in there like that, hold it in place. There's a little strap that you pull over it and you've got your headlamp. And that will go on just like this. And then you would, you can rotate it down. You can have it on this side or that side, whatever suits you. Press it on. You've got multiple brightness levels. But not only do you have good sort of white, either cool white or neutral white um, options for that light, you've also got a built-in red light too. You'd go from off to double click like that and you've got a red light. Why would you need a red light? A lot of good reasons because it uh, actually preserves your night vision. So maybe you're fishing or doing something like that where you want to maintain your night vision, not keep a light on the whole time, but you're tying a hook or you're getting some bait on the hook or you're getting your fish off your hook to throw it back, or whatever. Uh, hunting, there's a lot of reasons why you might want to maintain your night vision, but also be able to illuminate your area, and a red light helps you do that. But that's not all. You press it again, you've got SOS mode. So this is a great thing to keep in your car, maybe as a, you know, an emergency light, something like that. This is basically a gift that would be perfect for anybody. Olight is offering a whole bunch of different things through their uh, December sale. I recommend you check it all out. Links are below. Follow those links if you want to help support this channel because I do get some affiliate revenue from that, which I would definitely appreciate. But check those lights out. They'll be very good gifts for anybody you want to buy for. Let's get into Prairie Fire and uh, what's going on with all this. So I'll start off just kind of going, skimming through some of this email and I'll kind of interject things. Dear Shane, that's me. After going through U.S. Bankruptcy Court, Prairie Fire has completed its acquisition of Front Sight. The facility is now under completely new management and ownership. Completely. Completely. As a legacy Front Sight member, we at Prairie Fire Nevada are excited to welcome you, share our vision, blah, blah, blah. The Front Sight facility in Pahrump, Nevada remains open today as we begin our four-month transition plan. That's right. It's still open. You can still sign up for classes. We'll get into that some more. The pre-existing training classes will continue for all Legacy Front Sight members under the recent fee structure and online scheduling. Sign up today at myfrontsight.com. I've confirmed by logging in myself that you can actually get to all of those classes. If I'm logged in, this is what I see. This is all the training that's available to me. So we've got 
two and four day handgun stuff, tactical and practical and you know beginner stuff. We've got rifle, uh, shotgun and rifle and some youth stuff there. And this is all available right now. You can log into your uh, to my front site and you can sign up for any of these classes right now. What's the cost though? Well, again, if you didn't follow along with some of the other front site videos I've been doing, the fee structure has changed quite a bit. So there's a daily uh, fee that goes along with any class you sign up for of $100. So when I put this course in my um, into my cart, and this one was going to be the four-day defensive handgun, didn't check out, but this is what I was testing right here. You can see there that it would be $400 for me to take that class in addition to $50 for the background check fee. That's an annual thing. If you haven't already taken a class in a particular year, this has always been the case with FrontSight, then you pay $50 for the background check fee, and that applies for the entire year. And that's rolling over, or at least that's carrying over for now during the uh, Prairie Fire transition before they get to the full transition in April. Um, have I gone over all this yet? No, I think it said, uh, yeah, so, we will formally tr launch the Prairie Fire Nevada brand at our grand opening in mid uh, 20, April 2023. Mid April 2023. We will unveil our three core offerings and open the membership program at that time. As a Legacy Front Site member, we will be offering you a new Prairie Fire Frontier membership at no cost for two years. Talked about all this in a previous Prairie Fire Front Site video. Let's get into the FAQs because that's going to be a lot easier than sort of going through this piece by piece or a little bit here and, here and there. Top of the list of the FAQs, and a lot of you guys are going to find this one very interesting. Is Ignatius Piazza in any way involved with the Frontside or Prairie Fire Nevada business? No, period. Frontside is under completely new management and ownership. If any of you guys disliked uh, Frontside because of Piazza, he's gone. If any of you love Frontside because of Piazza, He's gone. So that is not going to, he's not going to be part of it at all. So none of the marketing, none of the cult of personality, if you will, none of it is centered or in, he's not involved in any of it in any way. Um, so they wanted to make that very clear at the top. Is my membership the exact same as it was before under front site ownership? The answer is no. They don't write a clear no, but the answer is no. As a part of the U.S. Bankruptcy Court proceedings, all former memberships were officially ended. Your current membership, while similar in many respects, is technically a new membership. If you had a front site membership, then you are a member today. If you have access to the front site facility in Prop Nevada, uh, you do have access. You can currently sign up for pre-existing front site courses still being offered and enjoy many of the same benefits. And I went over that before. Now, also, I'll, I'll note... All of the classes they used to have in the past don't all exist anymore. A lot of those were whittled down, kind of narrowed down into something that's easy to do. The most popular things that they know people want. There's still a good amount there, but it's not at all like it used to be. As our front site bucks, coins, gifted memberships, and other similar front site benefits still valid? <laughs> no. Nope. As part of the U.S. Bankruptcy Court proceedings, all those and similar features were voided. So this is a done deal, guys. All the stuff you had built up, all your credits, all your memberships, all the things that you probably, in many cases, purchased because you intended to gift them to other people or intended to hold on to them for this reason or that reason, use them to pay for different fees, different things at front site. It's all gone now. All that stuff is just wiped out clean. And that's part of the, that was part of the bankruptcy proceedings deal. And so they have no choice there. Does my legacy account information still work at myfrontsite.com? Yes, your login credentials are still active. I confirmed that by logging in myself and seeing all this. Uh, you can see there's the late Boy Scout. That's me logged in right there. And this is what's all available to me. Uh, I also confirmed what they said about my assets because there is, an, there is a my assets tab. Let me just show you on this page. You see the different tabs there at the top? My Assets is one of those. <laughs> You're going to love this. My Assets. Nothing. You got no assets whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, man. I had some stuff. Not very much. Not like a lot of you guys. But I had a few things in there. Uh, a couple of memberships. A couple of certificates, I'm pretty sure. Things to give, give away and whatnot. 
it's all wiped out. It's all gone. All right. So, but you can still work, uh, can still log in using the credentials from the past. It's all still there. Members can sign up for courses through that site as usual. Voided features uh, have been removed from member accounts per the direction of the U.S. Bankruptcy Court, as I just showed you. They can no longer be used to purchase products or services at front site. The end. When can new members join? In early 2023, we will launch our Prairie Fire Nevada Memberships Program. At that time, information will be provided for how new members can join. All legacy front site members will be offered a Prairie Fire Frontier Membership for two years at no cost. Okay. For the time being, the current fee structure will remain in place for the time being, which is a daily rate of $100 for legacy front site members and $200 for non-members. So daily fee of $100, can't get around that. Why will Prairie Fire open in 2023 or early 2023? They say, well, it, basically they say it takes time to make that transition happen. So it's not like, boom, we own it, boom, everything's happening our way. Nope, the ownership, the ownership and the... All that stuff is finalized right now, but as far as the, um, as far as when everything is completely transitioned over to their services versus what FrontSight has set up and what they have done, uh, it'll be a mid-April of 2023 is what you know is the projected date. Could be sooner, could be later. Don't know. Uh, what are some of the long-term plans for Prairie Fire Nevada? Um, I won't go through all that. That's basically a just a bunch of marketing, but it's they talk about how they want to have. Um, you know, additional gun ranges, members clubhouse, gun storage, dining options, uh, and lodging. And that's all stuff that was kind of promised to us through Piazza when, when he was still running things. That was, you know, he, he had big, big plans, big promises, as you guys probably remember uh, from all the emails and phone calls and so forth. Um, and a lot of that never materialized. And... Is that the deal with Prairie Fire? Will they also never materialize this stuff over promise and under deliver? I hope not. I'm taking a wait and see attitude towards it. I hope that, but I, you know, I hope that everything goes exactly the way they, um, they intend it to go and that it turns out to be a really successful place with offering, you know, fantastic uh, firearms training and experiences. I hope all that works out to be exactly what they intend it to be. And I hope it's a really, really impressive thing. I don't know. I'm not so sure that I'll try to go there or be a part of all that, but yeah, I'm taking a wait and see approach as I think you should too. But if you also are fully confident in it and want to dive right in, get your, um, your advanced membership or whatever it is with Prairie Fire, I'm not telling you not to. Give it a shot. It is quite a downer though, of course, that all of the things you've built up that I've built up in our, uh, in our front side assets it's all gone. It's just gone. And that's part of the bankruptcy court proceedings and sort of the, the contract, the deal that came along with all that in order for Prairie Fire to agree to buy the place, they had to say, but we've also got to wipe all this stuff that people own, all this stuff that's invested or, you know, all these deals that stuff, we, we have to not be able to honor that. We have to be able to not honor that in order to be able to pay for this place and use it the way we intend to. So I get why all that happened, but it's still a big bummer. And that's kind of where we're at with the front site slash Prairie Fire uh, saga. As I mentioned before, follow the links down below. Get your friends, your loved ones, something from Olight, particularly this Perrin 2, which I think is a great buy and just a really, really handy flashlight. Uh, aside from that, you guys have a Merry Christmas. I don't know if I'll have another video up between now and then or now in the new year or when the next Frontside update will come. But if there's more to say, of course, I'll get out here and I'll get on here and I'll talk about it and uh, hopefully get some feedback from you guys too. But until then, you guys have a Merry Christmas, great new year. See you soon.